Hi! Welcome to our video. So, before we start our discussion, we want to introduce ourselves. My name is Fanny. My name is Tari. My name is Adiba. So, we are from Yogyakarta State University and we are taking English Literature. And this video is dedicated to fulfill the final project of academic presentation and discussions to the program. Enjoy our video! The title of our discussion is A New Criticism Analysis on the Creative Language of Short Story the Title A Fire with Love. And the aim of our discussion today is to identify and analyze the creative languages and ability of creative languages that exist in the short story. And we are using new criticism analysis and the short story itself to talk about uh, two people who fall in love but they never met before but in the end they decided to meet each other at 6 o'clock in a train station and in the end of our discussion today we can found there are there are four degraded claim mages that exist in this short story there are hyperbole, personification, simile and Actually, there are so many kinds of figurative languages, but these four figurative languages are the most commonly used in any literary work. So, in, in literary theory, there is something called literary criticism, and the definition of literary criticism is, is the study and the interpretation of and the evaluation of literary work. So in short, literary criticism is like the way you see and the way you interpret and evaluate any literary work. And in literary criticism is divided into several parts such as cultural, feminist, Marxist, psychoanalytic moral and new criticism, but our discussion today will focus on new criticism. New criticism, like formalism, tended to consider as autonomous and close meaning that everything that is needed to understand a text is present within the text, so the readers don't need to find outside resources such as the author's biography to fully understand the text. While new critics did not completely discount any relevance of the author's background and possible resources of the text. Appointment with Love was released on June 5, 1943 by S.I. Kisor and she was born on England and she began writing at the age of five, and several of her poems printed in British publication at the age of ten. And at the age of thirteen, her family moved to New York City. So I would like to say that the focus of our discussion is to identify the figure and the language of the short story that has been told by Harry. It is a writing that goes from the actual meaning to get a special meaning. So, figurative language is focused. Figurative language focuses on the use of figure of speech that play with the meaning of words, such as metaphor, simile, personification, and hyperbole. But actually, there are a lot of figurative language, but the four of them that I've been it. They usually use them. Well, I would like to explain four of them. And the first is metaphor. And metaphor is a figurative language that makes comparison between two unrelated things by stating one thing is another thing like that. So, for example, is your lip is red rose. It doesn't mean that your lip is a rose, not, not like that, but it means that your lip is 
red as a rose, like that. Well, the second one is simile. Simile is like metaphor. It is comparing to unrelated things, but instead of one thing is another thing, simile is like one thing is like another thing. It's different from metaphor. Metaphor is that one thing is another thing but in simile one thing is like another thing for example it is what like um, ah like you fall like a cat and dog like that so it means that you you are fighting like cats and dogs when they are fighting like that <laughs> and then the third is personification personification is described about non-human things as as if they are have a human attributes like that for example your pencil dance on a paper you know that the one who can dance is a human like that but here your pencil it is described like the uh, your pencil is described like it dances on the paper. It doesn't mean your pencil is dances on the paper, no, not like that. But your pencil is like moving on the paper, like you use it for writing. Well, the last one is hyperbole. Hyperbole is an intentional exaggeration of the truth. It is used to emphasize the importance of something or to create a comic effect like that for example ah uh, yeah for example my my <laughs> my backpack with a ton no 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 like that it it doesn't mean that my backpack is with a ton like that no no there is no backpack that has a weight for a ton like that no but it means that my backpack is so heavy, okay? That's for explaining the four figurative languages. So, in this discussion, we use the method of criticism analysis and the cumulative data that you analyze through descriptive analysis method. In short, we would like to describe analyze try to find the meaning of creative language. So in the result of our discussion we found four creative language yes <laughs> and the first is simile I would like to show you simile is found in the sentence in the sentence of her eyes were as blue as flowers this sentence that her eyes her eyes were as blue as flower it means that her eyes has the blue color as the flower like that and the second one is in the sentence of in her place green suit she was like springtime come alive and the characteristic of the simile is using the, the words of like word like, like that it means that um, she was like a springtime cup like it means that spring springtime have the meaning of happiness cheerful and like that it means so so it means she was she was like a cheerful and happy girl like that the second types of figurative language is metaphor uh, there are two examples of uh, metaphor in the short story. The first is red rose. Uh, the rose is a symbol of the unknown. Uh, police may know, police may know, and Vietnam Greenfield, uh, as the character of the story, seem to know, uh, seem, seem to know so much about each other. Uh, all about the information they gain. Uh, through their through their detail letters, uh, but at some time, 